An historic four-day visit for Pope Francis to Bahrain is underway. In 2019, the Pope made a landmark visit to the UAE, signing a document in Abu Dhabi promoting Catholic-Muslim cooperation. Bahrain's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa extending a royal welcome to the Pope Thursday night. Francis is the first Pope in history to visit Bahrain that promote not only tolerance, but coexistence with Christians and Jews. My wife and I visited Bahrain earlier this year with Joel Rosenberg and a delegation of American evangelical business leaders. We met Bahrain's former ambassador to the U.S., Hoda Nunu, the nation's first female ambassador, a Jewish woman whose family of 35 makes up a third of Bahrain's entire Jewish community. We also met the current Bahraini ambassador to the U.S. and son of Interior Minister, who told us Bahrain is hoping to lead other larger Muslim nations into greater acceptance. Here's Pope Francis. A tale proposito, esprimo apprezzamento. Respect, tolerance, and religious freedom. These are fundamental themes recognized by the country's constitution. I think of the first school for women established in the Gulf and the abolition of slavery. May it be a beacon through the region. Pope Francis landing in Bahrain as we learn about an ancient discovery in the UAE, a Christian monastery dating back as many as 1,400 years before Islam spread across the Arabian Peninsula. The monastery, 30 miles from Dubai, suggests Christian worshipers prayed within a single aisle church next to a fountain for baptisms and an oven for baking communion wafers. Speaking of cooperation, Israel's next Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is promising to refocus the effort to bring new partners into the Abraham Accords. Israel's experiencing historic breakthroughs thanks to peace agreements brokered under President Trump promoting economic strength. There have been no new nations to join the Accords since President Biden entered the White House.